So let me start by saying this may be much to do about nothing, but let's go back because police agencies are warning parents about a new iPhone feature. It's called Name Drop, and it allows users to share private information and put children at risk if misused. Joining me on The Morning Show is Chris Friedman, cybersecurity firm, CEO of On Defend. Hey, Chris, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me, Bruce. Good to have you here. So let's show people how it works. Sure. Well, first of all, this is the technology that you already use for Apple Pay, so it's not new. You have to unlock your iPhone, so you have, right, to so willing, here. you have to be a willing participant, right? And, I, and I've already, I had mine on, you know, up lock, so, you know, but I unlocked it for demonstration purposes. And let me tell you, there's a delay, so we don't know if this is actually going to happen, but we're going to walk you through it. <laughs> so you unlock your iPhone, you put the phones next to each other, and you'll get an automatic prompt, as we just did, all right, to so share the information. The prompt isn't showing up, but if it did, it would say, okay, you know, I, I want to know if you want to share your contacts, your pictures, and some other information. Absolutely. You have to actually elect to share it or receive it. And remember, it's only your information, your phone or your email or both. Okay. And, and the issue is that, you know, people are saying, well, it's just going to go to your phone, but it doesn't. You have to say to the phone, okay, I accept this. You have to unlock it. You have to accept or accept to send. Uh, somebody can't just walk by you, bump you, swipe the information off your phone. And it's only your contact information. It's not your photos. It's not other information. So it's like sharing a digital business card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and that's the caveat here. You know, it's not just like it happens automatically. You do have to tell the phone, I accept this information. You are a willing participant. All right. So all that said, let's go on to the next thing. Let's talk reality here because there are some tech experts who basically said, you know, the warnings are exaggerated and, and this technology is basically basically safe because you don't share these contexts and other things with a, a simple tap because there is that, that other step. So, yes. you know, when parents approach this issue with their kids, how do they do it sensitively so that the kids because the kids can become defensive. Of course. How do you talk to them about it? Well, I'm a parent of two, and so I take these occasions, first of all, to talk about digital security, digital safety and awareness. Right. Regarding this, it's like sharing anything. People you know, kids you know, uh, parents, family, share away. Kids you don't know, probably not. Uh, adults you don't know, hard no, definitely right. not. So it's the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's like with anything, you know, when it comes to cybersecurity. You want to play it safe, but sorry. But if you do want to change the setting, it, it is actually pretty simple. So Kyle, if we can go back, what you want to do is you want to go into the settings program there, and you want to go into general, right? And then let's take us through it from there. Sure, so you go to settings, general, then you select airdrop, and then there's an option bringing devices together. You can toggle that off, and there's no more name drop. It's, it's, it's actually that feature. And, and, and fact is, there are other features that are on the phone that probably should be a bit more concerning for mom and dad. Absolutely. You definitely need to be vigilant about these things. Do your research, toggle off what should be toggled off. Not everything is, has to be on. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, everything's usually auto-enabled on by default. So definitely go through and turn off what does not to be, mm -hmm. does not to be, to be on. And again, you have to have a conversation with your kids because with every update, you know, there, there are cybersecurity concerns. Right. And also, you know, depending on the, the kid's age, it is okay for mom and dad to say, hey, look, having this phone for you is a privilege. It's not a right. That's absolutely right. I agree completely, and I, we hold the same standard in our home. Right. And there are certain websites, again, depending on their age, that you can say, look, I I'm going to limit you here. Absolutely. There's, def there's restricting apps. There's all types of technology to help this technology protect your children. Mm -hmm. and, and what about, you know, location sharing and things like that? I'm not a big fan of that for, uh, for a lot of security reasons, but you also need to know where your child is. So it's a, it's a hard dichotomy to decide mm -hmm. on that one. That's the parent's decision. And, and I know that for Cyber Monday, there were uh, you know, AirTag deals, and people thought that that was a good idea. Right. What do you think about AirTags? Well, they've been used to track uh, people as well, right, to find you in security shopping centers. And, 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 and so, yeah, they're also potentially dangerous. But, you know, convenience and security, they're usually not... Like, mm -hmm. a, like, like kind, so they're usually yeah. at odds with each other. All right, so think things through. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do your research, think things through. I Good to have you here. Appreciate it. Pleasure. That. All right.